Hey guys, Blake Tollefson here on behalf of Midwest Outdoors. We're here in West Central Wisconsin today and we're targeting panfish. When a lot of people think of midsummer panfish, they think of you know, those basin areas, those green healthy weeds. Um, but what we're doing today is kind of targeting fish out on those mid-depth flats. There's crappies out here, there's bluegills out here. And what they're doing is they're roaming around on these flats. So we're just gonna be driving around today, primarily using forward facing sonar to find these fish and cast at them. It's a bluegill, not a bad bluegill. The two rods that we're using primarily for these applications of casting these roaming panfish are the seven foot light extra fast. I have the Legend Elite panfish and the Avid Series panfish. Both of these are fantastic rods for doing exactly what we're doing today. The time we're fishing right now, there was a big, big storm that came through this morning. So fish are definitely in a little bit of a funk compared to what they normally are. Normally you're seeing, you know, much larger schools of fish. Whereas today it seems like there's a lot of smaller, smaller schools, onesie twosies. They're also just a little bit pickier than we'd like them to be. There we go. It's a little bit better fish, I think. Oh, not bad. Yeah. So in a lot of these small lakes we have here in, in West Central Wisconsin, you can expect to find, you know, a lot of these decent eater fish. So that's probably a, you know, a nine and a half, 10 inch crappie. Um, if a person wants to keep a few, that's it's kind of that perfect size. In my opinion, it's, it's really important to let those little bit bigger fish go. So my personal rule of thumb, any fish over 12 inches gets thrown back. Um, those fish are, especially in this area here, those are kind of special fish. Um, fish over that class, especially in this neck of the woods, are, are really rare. So protecting those larger fish, making sure we have opportunities to continue to catch them, uh, it's kind of on the angler to do that. That might be a bass. Well, we have a little bit better fish. This one might be, might be looking at a bass here. Uh, one of the things you run into with a lot of these little lakes, there's, in addition to a lot of panfish, there's a lot of bass. So, yeah, and that's exactly what we have here. Looks like we have uh, a decent little largemouth. Fun time on light, light gear. Yeah, so, you know, if you just want to have fun with the family, bring bring your kids out to try to catch fish. Um, fish like that are kind of hard to beat. They pull really, really hard, especially when you're using light gear. There's a decent crappie. You know, if a person wanted to eat some, this is about, about as perfect a fish as you can get, in my opinion. Probably something right around that 10, 10 and a half inch mark. Hey guys, I'm here with seven reels today. And what seven reels is, is that's a kind of the reel side of St. Croix. This is a brand new brand that was launched in 2023. Um, I'm here with two of the spinning reels. I have the GS and the GX. Uh, one of my favorite features about these reels, especially for somebody who, who uses a lot of light line applications, is the way that this bale is designed. So a lot of reels that I've used in the past, they have this little connection point on the bale. And what happens is this thin line or thin braid actually gets caught up in there. And then when you go to set the hook on a fish, your bale opens. So this is designed to function very, very smoothly. So as you can see here, it just slides right into that roller. Uh, no issues with that whatsoever. You're not manually taking it, putting it in the roller. Uh, big advantage when you're casting at fish, you know, you're not always paying attention to what your line is doing in your reel. Uh, we got another one. What are we dealing with here? I think we got ourselves a bluegill. So, these little lakes like this, you have opportunity to catch nice gills, nice crappies. Uh, gills this size, this we're probably looking at something in that nine inch range. This is definitely the one I would throw back. Good picture fish, but you gotta let these big ones go. We got a crappie or a bluegill, what do we got here? Oh, looks like a decent, decent crappie. It's a unique coloring on that one. A little different from a lot of the other fish we've been seeing. It's a lot whiter and has a lot more blue of a back. It's kind of unique. If 
it's a crappie. It looks like that would be a nicer one. We'll find out what we got here. Oh yeah, it is. I'm gonna get the net for this one. Just to be safe. There's what we were after. You know, in these smaller lakes like this, this is kind of getting towards the top end of, I mean, at least in this neck of the woods, top end of what we see. We'll put that one on the bump board and kind of see what we're dealing with, but I'm gonna guess maybe 12, 12 and a half. So you don't see a ton of fish in this size class. So I'd keep them around, maybe get a chance to catch them again. Well, pretty good day here in West Central Wisconsin. Spent the day chasing around a bunch of panfish, caught some, some crappies, some bluegills, a few nicer ones like this here, a bunch of bass. So these small lakes like this, they're just a great opportunity. In the middle of summer, things get tough on the, on the bass front, on the walleye front, you can come out and just catch a bunch of panfish. I'm Blake Tellison. We'll be right back with more Midwest Outdoors.